Good afternoon everybody, my name is Iridium Axel, and today we are going to be playing Monster Hunter Try Ultimate on the CMU emulator. Now the main reason we're playing this is A, because I really like Monster Hunter. It's a fun game, I've live streamed it in the past, don't know if you've seen that. If you haven't, maybe you want to go look back at those. But we're going to be playing it today in preparation for Monster Hunter World coming out in autumn this year for the PC. I'm not going to get it on the Xbox One or PS4 because those I don't own either of those consoles and they're really just not my thing. But if you don't know about Monster Hunter, it's a really fun game. Pretty much the entire thing is boss farming though. Uh, but it does it in a very fun and creative way. It's most fun to play with friends, but sadly for the CMU version of this, you can't play with friends. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. This is pre-recorded audio so that you can, guys can see the first cutscene. I've already created my character. Enjoy, and let's get into the rest of the game. Alright guys, so here we are in Monster Hunter in a crisp 60 FPS. This game actually looks really good for coming out on the Wii U. Its main downfall is really some pretty bland, uh, not text, models. Models is it. Uh, but it has great shadows and lighting. We just have to walk around and talk to the various village people. Um, I imagine you got an idea of what happened from the cutscene that just played, but essentially there was this big ol' earthquake and they all assume it was the deadly monster, the Lagai. Uh, and that's a sea monster, underwater, super duper creepy and stuff. So let's go out to Moga Village because, or Moga Forest, because that's where everyone is telling us to go. Run out, and then. Oh, come on! Wait to ruin a moment, phone. Alright, we're back. Okay. So at the top here we have our health and our stamina. The stamina is how long you could run or roll or whatever. Uh, health, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Then there's a little clock next to that that says what time it is in a really dragony way. And here are our first monsters. Let's go ahead and murder them with our sword. Yes, I get the point. Oops. All we need is some raw meat. Uh, you aren't supposed to know that yet, but I've played this game before on the... So. I actually figured out how to do a fair amount of, uh, of this game without a GUI, because before I got this GTX 1070, I had an R7 250 graphics card, which is made by AMD, and uh, this game did not work with AMD. So, yeah. Let's just head to the base camp now. Talk to the important looking guy. Oh, after this cutscene, my bad. It's gonna render this part of the video so weird because it's at 30 FPS. But you know what? Whatever. Raw. Oh, you have some raw meat? Sweet! Okay, bye. So now we have to run back to the village. I'm just trying to get all of the basic stuff. For some reason, uh, <laughs> when I record the emulator, the little graphic that tells me how long I've been recording and the FPS and everything uh, is upside down and corner. So, uh, as I do not have upside down and in the bottom corner eyes, I can't really tell what it is. I kind of wonder how that pulley system works because it doesn't look like that rope attaches to anything that's holding it up. It looks like it it's just there permanently which makes the pulley system entirely useless. 
Go back to Moga Village, person. I will. Worry not. All right, we're back to Moga Village. We talked to him. He's like, all right, we got to go fix the base camp. And I'm like, sweet. And he gave me a barbecue because who doesn't need a barbecue? In our chest, we have um, one of every kind of uh, weapon. I've One of my personal favorites is the dual blades. But in the beginning, we're just going to use this uh, switch axe, which is half sword, half axe, depending on how you use it. Don't worry, chief. Sweet, a thousand zenny. And I think after we complete the next uh, little mini quest thing, it's not an actual quest, but once we complete it, we'll be able to um, really get things going. Yes, I get the point. Uh, what we have to do now is go kill some monsters and turn in the resource points that we get to have the camp rebuilt. And you get resource points for killing monsters, if you couldn't tell by me saying that. Yes, I get it. Get over here. I'm going to murder you. Sword mode. This blade has a power file when it's in sword mode, and that means that it does more damage uh, when you have it using as a sword. And you have that little gauge up there that determines how long you can use it as a sword, so it's pretty effective for that. Yes, I get it. Sword mode. Yes, I get it. Sweet, another 30 FPS. Yes, we get it. These are the raptors, the little peon enemies that uh, really don't do much. But they can be annoying and cause you to die if you, uh, if you forget that they're there. I'm trying to explain this game as if uh, whoever's watching has never even heard of it before. At least roughly. <laughs> so, please uh, don't mind if I'm a little overly specific with the various things going on. I think we're going to get to like, I think it's 27 resource points with the monsters that are easy to get to and then you have to wait for some to respawn. Like, I think each each Kelby you kill is worth two. Excuse you. I will carve you because on occasion you just, you need Kelby horns for things. In Monster Hunter Try, you would like straight up kill them, but in this one you can't. They just get stunned. No, get back down. Oh, or turn into a ghost and fly away. Either works. There's still nothing here. So I guess it'll be a little bit longer before they respawn. And these things are pretty easy to kill. There we go. Exactly 30. Sweet. There was an item. Uh, there are some, like, account items that just get instantly turned into resource points because you can't have them in your chest. So you have to go to the hunt report, tell them what you killed, and then he gives you stuff in return, and you fix the camp. Ah, uh, thanks.
All right, we're back in the village. I got the iron. Yes, I get it, lady. All right, go talk to the head farmer. Hey. Little blobbity blobbity, hoobity doobity. Sweet, I got a fishing harpoon. I needed that. Oh, what do you want? Again. I think they want me to go underwater before I go in on any quest. Ugh. Buttery smooth 30 FPS. Hi! Well, 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 if it isn't the hunters... Everyone's fussing over. Well, whooped. Oh, wow. You're a jerk. <laughs> I am the hunter everyone's been fussing about. You trash. Hmm. Sir oinks a lot, of course. Excuse you. Veggies, 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 I don't care. This might be fun. Fancy changing my name. Of course I do, Tater. you have them grow the mushrooms, it, uh, can I do things now? I forgot what they wanted me to do, to be honest. I think they wanted me to kill some things. Yo, thanks for the bug net. Or you mind? Not bad. Yes, I know. Mo molids? All I was supposed to do. If not, I'll just run back. Oh, 
All right, he gave me some armor spheres in some amount. Oh, sweet, I can buy hunter stuff now. Um, can I buy it all? 20. I can't. I don't think I can buy it all. It's going to be close. Although, there's another uh, pittance fang. So, maybe I can buy hunter's armor? If not, I'll just... Oops. I... Did I buy that? No. I need 1,800. I can sell roughly nothing. <laughs> Definitely nothing worth enough to get me money. So, that's not what I'm going to do. Oh, sweet. Thanks, bruh. That should be just enough to get me that armor. That should be the full set. Yep. Now if we look at my uh, status. Full armor. Detect an outdoorsman. But more importantly, I have armor. So that's sweet. They have MOGA forecast, so it shows what large monsters will be around. Alright. Uh, we can fight monsters now. Yeah. Harvest shrimps. Oh, gosh. Guys. <laughs> All of the boring quests. This is probably going to be entirely sped up. Let's have some fun. Bye. Actually, no. Give me a sec. Alright. Because of the way the armor works in this game... Some things are better for some things. I know. Shocking. Uh, this armor gives me skills that go towards gathering. Hunter's armor, as you may guess, gives you skills towards hunting. If I'm going to be gathering, I want the gathering armor. So let's do this. Hmm. <sighs> Right to deliver, go to this red block box and hit the buttons. And that gave me a bunch of uh, money. And the choice mushrooms got me 500 zenny apiece, which is pretty good. Two extra unique mushrooms didn't, but whatever. 
Quest complete! Huzzah! We've completed a quest. Yeah. And then you get your quest rewards. I'm gonna send them all to the item box. Now we should be able to do some more quests. I don't think we can do Great Jaggy, which is the first boss monster quite yet. Oh, thanks for the mega fishing fly, fly uh, guy. And thanks for the snake bee larva. What even is a snake bee larva? Farm aid. Slay five Jagia. I need to look up which of these, uh, which of these things are necessary for me to kill, but for now, this is the end of that video. Thanks a ton for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. There was a lot of, uh, of editing in this video because <laughs> it would not be pleasant to watch without it. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I guess I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.